everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugly channel. I am Brugly, your host, and in this video, I am going to be explaining Backroom's level, The Blood Moon, which is easily the most dangerous sub-level that I have ever gone over. Even more dangerous than level exclamation mark sub-levels, which I thought were the worst, until I read this one. Anyways, I know you all like things like this, so let's get into it, shall we? Backroom's level, The Blood Moon, is a sub-level of a little place called The Terror Dreams. Now, I have a video on that level, link below, but this sub-area is classified as your all's favorite classification, a class dead zone, with it having a bunch of hazards being uninhabitable and lethal entities living here. So, the Blood Moon is sort of an event that happens inside of the main level, and when this event happens, you'll notice some changes starting. The first big one is that the main level, Terror Dreams, takes place inside of buildings. And when this Blood Moon thing happens, those buildings and walls and rooms fade away to show a dark red landscape lit by a crimson red moon. And this is where the hellscape begins. The red light comes from the moon, and it doesn't ever go away. It stays in the same spot forever. Now, the moon itself doesn't actually emit that much light, but since everything else is dark, all you can see is red. Now that you're outside in the Blood Moon area, you'll notice that the landscape around you is made up of different types of biomes and areas, and all of the biomes are terrible in their own ways, and I'll get into them in a second. The ground everywhere is covered in these red vine type things, and they spread around the level kind of like a virus. Touching the vines gives away your location to several entities that live here. Normal ones like Smilers live here as well, but the main ones you're going to have to worry about are nicknamed the Crimson Nightmares. So These are large, shadowy type figures that leave a trail of red behind them wherever they walk. They're humanoid in shape, but they act more like a wild animal because they chase you as soon as they hear you or see you, and they won't stop chasing you until they eat you. The different biomes are so big that they're thought to be infinite, and they're all destroyed and corroding and old looking, and to be honest, they're just gross. The only things in these biomes are entities and red vines and this creepy red glow from the moon. The further you go away from the start, the worse these biomes get. Now, I'm going to get into the specific areas that I was referring to, and why they're dangerous, and why you should not go here unless you're just crazy. Buckle up. The first area that you're likely to see is nicknamed the Vermilion Desert. This is a large rock-filled desert-type area with sand dunes and giant red crystals sticking out of it. The crystals are like the only thing in this area, and there's even no vines. As you can imagine, this is pretty much the only quote-unquote safe part of the level because there are no vines and not that many entities, but you cannot stay here for long because eventually a Crimson Nightmare or a Smiler or some unknown entity will chase you out into the next biome. Speaking of the next biome, it's nicknamed the Forest of Mistakes. This place is way more dangerous than the last, and it is full of a decaying forest. The trees and the bushes here are all dying and withering away, and there are little ponds and creeks here that are filled up with liquid pain. Now, this area is a common hiding spot for entities, since there are more places to hide behind trees and whatnot. And there are even some weird giant spider entities that live here too, and cocoon themselves up in the trees. So if you have arachnophobia, or if you don't like giant spiders, then you're not going to have fun here. The next known area past the forest has been nicknamed the Lake of Regrets, and it is one of the worst places here. The lake itself has entities swimming around in it, and entities around it, but those aren't the worst part. The worst part is that when you look at the water in the lake, 
it will cause you to go into psychological shock because it'll show flashes of your worst memories and biggest regrets in your mind. And these memories are used as a sort of weapon against you. And the level flashes them in your head to distract you or slow you down so an entity will get you. Some people have tried to jump into the water to make the memories stop or to run away from an entity, uh, but they've never been seen again. So who knows what's hiding down there. All that I know is that this still is not the worst biome. Beyond the Lake of Regrets is a mountain range that's been nicknamed the Peaks of Madness. These are insanely huge black mountains with sharp rocks sticking out of them. The trees on the mountainside are all black and ashy with no leaves. Pretty much everything is just dead here. But there are rivers running down from the tops of the mountains that are full of liquid pain. There's thought to be some kind of massive flying entity that lives high up in the hill somewhere, but so far there's only been one photograph and just whispers of its existence, but some people have claimed to hear it screeching in the night. The last biome that's been discovered so far is nicknamed the Plains of Dread. This desolate wasteland type area is what surrounds all of the other biomes that I just talked about. So if you somehow manage to make it through the desert, the woods, the lake, and the mountains, you'll be here in this decaying hellscape. Everything in this area is black and white, with there being black trees and a white ground, and everything is just dead and decaying and falling apart. Even all the entities that are here are blacked out as well. This area has rain showers sometimes that are thought to drop a liquid pain from the sky. But that's not confirmed yet, since you can't see the red black and white. This biome is the last discovered area as of right now, and so far, no one has even been able to get through it to see if there's any more biomes past it, but I don't think I'd be risking it to be honest. To enter the Blood Moon area, you have to have been in the main level, Terror Dreams. And from then, it's not known how or when the Blood Moon event happens, or why it does, or who it picks, or why it picks them, but what I just described is what happens when it does occur. To exit this sublevel, it's thought that you have to destroy as many red vines as you can. As I said earlier, there are vines spreading out all over the level, and when you touch them, it kind of acts like a signal to all the entities that you're there. So you'll have to destroy them and then quickly run and hide somewhere and hope to evade the entities. This exit is just a theory though, because no one truly knows how to escape. We're just guessing. All right, that is it for the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. This one was terrifying and it just kept getting worse and worse and more dangerous as it went on. And I hope you enjoyed it. I think it takes the cake as the most dangerous sub level. Now, if you're still watching, comment the keyword Vine Brugley. And if you do that, I will heart your comment to show my appreciation for you still watching the video. Y'all, we are closing in on 500,000 subscribers, which I still cannot believe. That is just an absurd number. That's half of a million people. I cannot thank you all enough for all you've done for me the supporting me everything you just do you interact with the content thank you so much thank you i i say it every video and i say that i say it every video but it is just it's I, that's all i can say is thank you so much let me know down below what videos you want me to go over let me know down below what levels you want me to go over and make sure while you're down there to check out my second and third channels i upload tons of videos on there as well multiple times a week multiple times a week as well as here on brugley so if you want more of me go check out those channels imagine if Tugly gets to 50k by the same time brugley gets to 500k that would be nutty wouldn't it thank you for everything you do and i will see you all in the next video i make peace out y'all Thank you.